So these are great features. I can also ask it to record that specific movie. So there are wonderful features that QTP has. Now, you might want to test this on multiple data types, uh, not data types, but multiple sets of data. I'm just doing a nine star four, but what about I want it to do for uh, uh, sets of hundreds or thousands of numbers. So I should be able to repeat a test multiple times and QTP helps us do that. Little advanced for today's session, but uh, uh, these are some of the features that we will look at when we go into the next sessions. So we come to the end of the session uh, and I am open for any questions. I'm going to unmute everyone. What I did was to give you an overview of how QTP works on both a web-based and a Windows-based application. Now in real time, we do much more complicated. Uh, we will do simple tasks like this, but we will do multiple kinds of simple tasks which will all fall under one script. And each time, we check two things. I mean, QTP is used in the industry for two basic types of testing. One is functional testing to see if a functionality is working, is it doing what it is supposed to be doing? It's either a web-based or a Windows application. It could be your other applications like an SAP, um, your .NET application, your J2E application, and so on. You have different plugins for each. You will also do something called as a regression testing. And what regression testing means is anytime in a project, let's say this is Google.com, and there is specific functionality in it. So as is today, I will instruct QTP to do all the tests that are possible on this website. Now let's say tomorrow they introduce a new feature here. Uh, they have YouTube photos. Now recently they've introduced something called as voice, dot voice on Google. Now if you want to test voice on Google, uh, you would also want to test when you included a new functionality called voice, how is it affecting other parts of your website? And when you test the whole application, again, it's called regress it again, doing it again for everything, for one change or a set of new changes, it is called as regression testing. QTP is a great tool in the industry today, which is used for this regression testing and functional testing. You can ask QTP to do this multiple sets of time for multiple types of data. You can program it and play with it in lots of ways. One of the standard questions people have is, how complex is this scripting? And I would say the scripting at VBScript is one of the most easiest programming tool. The reason I say that is because if you say this, it is very easy to understand, just like English. Hey, click on what? Windows button, which has a name called 9. But where is it located? It is located under another object called Windows Calculator. Wait three seconds. So it is easy to learn and as we learn each day some new feature and we do a practice on it, we have a very good um, hand on this script part of it. There are lots of other features to the script, uh, but again, it's just through practice that we will uh, get to know how everything is working. So here I am to the end of the session. If you have questions, you are more than free to ask. Let me do this. Let me go one by one. I'm going to mute everyone and let's say Sharada. Sharada, can you speak out? Yes, I have a question like we'll just do training or after training you'll be marketing our resume also. Okay, this is uh, again another standard question that I guess. Uh, here is what I do, uh, Sharada. I help you preparing for your next job or next level of interview. I can guide you on resume and I can guide you to some uh, good set of consulting companies which do placements. But I don't do placements myself. However, okay. I try and uh, help as much as I can. And in fact, I have, a, uh, I have a benefit. If you get placed, I also get some uh, referral commission and so on. Okay, okay. Yeah, and one more thing. After you run this test case, mm -hmm. 
Are you pressing on the calibrate? I mean, nine into fourteen, nine and start buttons, or it will I, do automatically? It it is doing it automatically. Let me run and make sure my mouse is separate on a different place altogether. It is actually taking the mouse oh. there to click, uh, but I am not doing it. It is doing it automatically. Okay, okay. And that is the beauty of this tool. Today in the market, for every job on manual testing, uh, let's say there are about 10, 15 people applying. Uh, yeah. There might be about three or four people who have automation skills and some of them with QTP. Though the position could be manual testing, employers are still preferring, hey, why can't we get the automation person because it's the same cost. We will get more for the same value. Okay. I can't that thing. Thank you, Sharda. I'll move on to Pranab. Pranab? Yeah, this is Pranab. Uh, my question is, so, we have like a schedule and content of the QTP, what we will be learning. Okay, I have a content of QTP. I'm going to mute you, Pranab, to answer this. Uh, I have a content. Uh, I'll email you the content of what uh, the overall training will cover. Uh, I don't have a schedule. Uh, typically, the reason is uh, some days we might run faster, some days we might run slower. Uh, but as long as we're covering all the topics in the five odd weeks of overall uh, class, then we're good. Okay, and uh, why would be, is there any good help files or, uh, or documentation you can provide? Sure. Uh, so what I do is I don't myself send or do any documentation, but I send all the scripts each day, uh, whatever we see, so that you could look at them and redo it on yourself, practice them at back at home. Uh, however, today we have multiple uh, repositories of great content available online. Uh, I will guide you to where and how you could use them. Okay, thank you. Welcome. So I'll move on to Haima. Hi Haima, anything from you? Uh, hi, actually I have a question like, uh, uh, can we download the Q2P software or can you provide us with the software? I, to do? Right, uh -huh. so, so what I do is I help uh, people do the installation of the trial version. There's a 14 days trial version which is available online. There are a few steps which you have to do uh, and I have a small email uh, that I send uh, to help people download the trial version. What I uh, uh, ask everyone to do is wait uh, at least a day or two before the batch starts so that your trial version doesn't expire before the end of the class. Okay, then I'll be waiting for you to send me the... Okay. Okay? Sure, Haima. Yeah, the class was nice and you know what, I think I'm able to understand it even though I'm from a different background. Right. Uh, it's nice, yeah. I and find in fact, the first one week to ten days, we will go at the same speed. But as okay. you practice, as each of us Let's okay, say today, yeah, today we learned how to add objects to repository. So I explained object repository at detail. But tomorrow I will not explain this at detail. Uh, I'll say, okay, since we learned this, let's click on add objects. And this is what it does. Third class, we will just do it automatically. I won't even speak about it. So that way, slowly we up, pick up speed on each and every concept. Okay. Yeah, that would be good. And thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to unmute everyone again. Uh, let me know if you have any final questions. So, if not, what I will do is I will write back an email with uh, the details for my that starting next Monday, and uh, you can let me know uh, how you're interested with it. And All right, everyone. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to email or call me anytime. Thank you. See you and have a great day. Bye.